Hello everyone, welcome back to another brand new video. I'm James Martin and today I want to share with you the equipment that I'm using and my recommendations for 2022. So I've never really shared my equipment before and I'll be very honest, I'm kind of limited with my equipment so you'll have to bear with me as I try and resort to figuring out how I'm going to showcase the equipment that I have but also I need to use in order to film this video. But I'm going to share with you the camera, the lights, the microphones and audio setups I use different lenses and my recommendations of what you can actually be using this year. So first off, the camera that I'm using is the Canon SL1. I know it's not really a particular anything special, but you know what? For a few hundred dollars, this was a really good budget camera. It's been excellent quality in terms of the video and the picture work. The video, keep in mind in low light settings, tends to bring up different blue pixels. So you're gonna have to be really, really careful about that. I bought an extra battery handle. Now I don't really use it too much for photography, but as far as holding two batteries instead of one, it makes it last so much longer. And that's just what I need to know when I'm going out for a shoot, right? Keep in mind, batteries do get expensive. Of course, they always do, but I find it really helpful. And I even got the kit that included a lens. It included a little zoom lens, and I found that to be really, really helpful. So I've been using this bad boy for movies, for professional work, and all of my YouTube videos, pretty much. So definitely a huge recommendation. I would actually highly recommend a particular lens, and I can actually show it because I'm not using it to film this video. And that is the Rokinon 85mm Prime Lens. This bad boy has been really great when it came to doing different photography and video work where I really wanted to do that really shallow depth of field. I wanted to be able to do stuff like headshots or really creative photography and just creating the look where, you know, I'm in sharp focus and then everything else behind me is really, really blurry. This is actually the cheapest lens you're gonna find out of all the Rocket On Prime kits. So this one only cost me a few hundred dollars US. If you wanna get into the other lens, that's fine, but they are gonna cost you a whole lot more. But you know what? This has actually been really great for getting close up headshots and medium body shots. So huge recommendation and this is great for your Canon cameras as well. Now moving on to my audio setup. So I've been using the Zoom H4n for a long time. I can always trust that it's going to do super high quality work. I don't have to worry about it getting damaged or broken comes with a very little case. I've been using it for almost 10 years right now. If you're going to an event, you plug it into a sound system so that every time someone speaks into the microphone, that signal goes into the soundboard and into your microphone. I also have my own microphones that I set up and I'm gonna talk about those in a second. But also, the Zoom H4n has its own microphone, which I'm actually using right now. So I can use it to record basically anything I want. I've been using it to record sound effects, music, my voices, I've been using it for my YouTube videos, so it's been very, very versatile. It does require two AA batteries, and for that, I highly recommend get yourself some rechargeable batteries. I've bought four rechargeable batteries and a charger, and I've been using it for years right now. I haven't had to buy any new AA's for a long time. As far as my microphone goes, I'm using the Audio-Technica microphone. I actually got this from a recommendation from Pat Smith, who's a podcast expert. I recommend you go and check him out. But I've been using this bad boy for now a lot of my recent video work. I've been using it for podcasts, I've been using it for voiceovers and sound effects and narration and kind of cool stuff. It's just good to know that I have a microphone that I can depend on that's gonna give me good quality. And I even extended it and got a bit of a kit, including the and stuff so it's really nice knowing that I can just plug this bad boy into either my audio recorder or my computer just bring the microphone down in front of me and I know I have a good quality microphone that I can use to record what I need what I really especially love about the microphone is that it has an XLR it has the cord that you use to plug into a USB I often plug this into my ps4 when I'm recording gaming videos it includes an XLR so I plug this into either my computer or into my audio recorder and then it does have a headphone jack in case you want to listen to it. Quality, very, very good. Highly recommend you use this microphone. Now, when it comes to plugging in my microphone into my computer, I recently invested in a Red Scarlet Focusrite. You plug your microphone into here and then you plug this into your computer and it's gonna give you a much more high quality sound. So you don't have to take a microphone and plug it in by USB. Often the sound gets really distorted that way. This gives you really good quality. And what I really like about this, the Red Scarlet, is that it gives me two audio inputs. So I can plug in two microphones essentially. I only use one, so that's good enough for me. This gives me different options in terms of the gain, the overall volume and quality. 
but I also especially love this is extremely small and extremely versatile so I can carry with this with me everywhere I go like it's that small that's the size comparison as far as installing into my computer that was actually really really easy I was genuinely surprised I plugged into my computer software automatically popped up installed within moments I was good to go and then all I need to do is plug my microphone in it just sits on my computer desk and it's been really really easy to set up start recording right away and of course if you want to the red scarlet includes many different types of sizes so depending on how many microphones you want to plug in you can get a one you can get a two input there's four eight twelve sixteen etc so as far as portable quick and easy setup and you know very good quality overall for the price i'm getting I highly recommend the Red Scarlet. Moving on to my lights, this is going to be a little bit interesting because for the longest time I've actually been using a variety of different lights, mostly very, very cheap softbox lights that I can get either from a friend or on sale at some store in the US. But recently I got the LED panels from Newer. Oh my goodness, these things have been a blessing. So first off, the quality of these lights is phenomenal. The stands themselves are a lot more heavier but that's important because you don't want the lights to move around too much it's a very easy setup it includes a cable so you will have to plug this in but if you get the batteries you can put the batteries in the light and then you can go wireless so if you're going outside or somewhere without electric outlets very convenient that way barn doors which help you guide the light wherever you want to go but the big thing that I love about this light is that there's a panel on the back to let you control the different settings, the brightness, the CTB, the CTO, different colors, but you can also plug into the app, the newer app on your phone and control the lights, turn them on, changing the different settings. And that's been super convenient. I can literally just stand here, get out the lights and then just mess around with the different lighting setups, right? been really 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 easy to use well now my filler light just got super bright so yeah high recommend get yourself the newer led panels and as far as miscellaneous items my camera bag i've had it for the last six years now and this has gone with me through thick and through thin it's it's been extremely versatile when it comes to putting my stuff in the patches are attached by velcro so i can take stuff out or put this the walls back in if i wanted to change what kind of equipment I, i'm carrying so it's very been very versatile that way there's millions of different pockets millions of different places i can put stuff in and it's just been really convenient and making sure that everything's been organized and secure with double zippers belts everything you need it's got wheels on the bottom and luggage carrying handle in case you want to roll it around it fits right on like a backpack and it's just been super super convenient and it's actually been relatively inexpensive and yeah those are my recommendations for equipment for 2022 but also this is showing you a lot of the equipment that i mainly use for a lot of my videos my clients my movies all kinds of stuff so if you're interested in checking out these products the links will be down in the description below so you can go check it out keep in mind that they are going to be amazon affiliate links so if you purchase your stuff through my links they're going to come and support me in return so i hope this video helped you out if it did please like the video and subscribe for more content good luck with your videos and i will see you next time